we are going to learn about different types of switches. So a switch is a device which is designed to interrupt or stop the current flow in a circuit. In simple words, a switch can make or break an electrical circuit. Every electrical and electronics application uses at least one switch to perform simple on and off operation of the device. We have different types of switches, mechanical switches, electronic switches. In mechanical switches, we have single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, double pole, single throw and double pole, double throw, push button switch, toggle switch and many more. In electronic switches, we have bipolar transistor as a switch. We can also use power diode, MOSFET, SCR, diode drive as switches. Here we have connected a switch in the circuit. So let's see when a switch in the circuit it is connected, how does it work? So here you can see that switches are important part of the control system and without it, control operation cannot be achieved. As you can see in this diagram, a switch is connecting this battery to the lamp. So it is acting as a control circuit here, control system here. If we keep the switch open, the lamp will not glow. So it is controlling the flow of current towards the lamp. If we make the connection, then the current from the battery source reaches the bulb and it glows. So in this way, it controls the operation of a circuit. Another very important function of a switch is to divert the flow of electric current in a circuit. So in this diagram, you can see we have two positions to which a switch can be connected, position 1 and position 2. So if we connect the switch to the position 1, it will pass the current from the power supply to the bulb A and it will glow. But if we change the position to switch B to the position B, it will pass all the current from the power supply to bulb B and now bulb B will glow. So in this way, it can divert the flow of electric current from the power supply to the load. We have different types of switches with us. First, we have single pole, single throw switch. So here you can see the symbol and picture of this switch. So as you can see, it is open now. And if you make the connection, it will be closed and current will flow towards the bulb. Next, we have single pole, double throw switch. So we have a single pole, common pole, and switch can be thrown to two position. That's why it is called single pole double throw switch. Here is the picture of the switch. It can be moved to two positions. So in this diagram, you can see we have the two bulbs and switch can be thrown to any position to make that particular bulb flow. The contact which is connected to the input by default is referred to as the normally closed contact. So by default, if contact is connected to a particular position, that position is called normally closed, the other one is called normally open. Next we have double pole single throw switch. In this figure you can see its symbol and picture. It has four terminals at the back side. In off position both the switches are at open state. It Actually this double pole single throw switch is exactly like a single pole single throw switch which uh, where we have connected two single pole single throw switch and they both are working in the same direction. So you can close them or open them, both of them at the same time. Also the contact of this switch may be either normally open or normally closed. So in this diagram you can see this switch is controlling the two circuits, lamp and the motor as well. If you close this switch, both lamp and motor will be turned on. Next we have double pole double throw switch. Here you can see the symbol and here we have the picture of the switch. This is a dual on off switch consisting of two on positions. It has six terminals in total. Two are input contacts and the remaining four are the output contacts. Here you can see these two are the input contacts and one, two, three, four are the output contacts. And in this diagram as you can see, to the output contacts, a DC motor is connected. Next, we have a push button switch. So you can see in this symbol, this shows normally open position and O means normally open. The switch is not pressed yet. But when you press the switch, it is normally closed position. It is a momentary contact switch. You press it for just a moment 
and that makes or breaks the connection as long as the pressure is applied. So as long as you hold the switch, it will make the contact, it will be in normally closed position and as soon as you release the switch, it will come to the normal position, normally open position. So generally this pressure is supplied by a button pressure or by someone's finger. This button returns to its normal position once the pressure is removed. Next we have a toggle switch. They are also of many types, single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw and double pole, double throw. So here you can see we have a mechanical lever. You can manually uh, on it or off it. This switch comes in the different version as we have already seen. These are commonly used in light control switches and it is used for the switching high current as high as 10 ampere and can also be used for the switching small currents. This type of switches we also see in our digital trainer kits. So they are available there to switch a particular circuit to 0 or 1. Next we have electronic switches. So we have transistor. Transistor work as a switch. Transistor either allow the current to pass or it block the current as similar to working of a normal switch. So here you can see we have a normal switch and here we have connected a NPN transistor here. So when you supply a base voltage, base to emitter voltage, when you apply base to emitter voltage, a very small base current will start flowing towards an NPN and this transistor will become on. And once this transistor is on, the circuit will be complete from this battery source to load and to this. So circuit will complete and current will start flowing from this DC source to load to transistor in this way. Okay. So in switching circuit, transistor operate in two modes, cutoff mode and saturation mode only. It doesn't work in the active region. Even though it utilizes a very small base current, it is capable of carrying much higher current through the collector and emitter path. So we are getting very small current at the base, but it can deliver a very high current to the load which is connected between the collector and emitter. Next we have power diode as a switch. So we can also use this power diode as a switch. We already know that diode allow the current to pass only in one direction and when current passes from anode to cathode it becomes on. It act as an on switch and in reverse direction it act as a off switch. So in this way we can use the diode as a switch. MOSFET as a switch. So here we have N channel and P channel MOSFET. It is most popular and most commonly used semiconductor switching device. As we know that MOSFET is a unipolar and very high frequency switching device. It is a unipolar device. It is most commonly used switching device in power electronic applications. By applying a gate to source voltage, if you apply a gate to source voltage here, the resistance between the drain and source can be controlled which further determines the on and the off state. So whether your MOSFET is on or off, it will entirely depend upon the gate to source voltage. Next we have a SCR as a switch, the most widely used high speed switching device for power control application. As SCR is turned on or off by controlling its gate input and biasing condition of the anode and cathode terminals. So if you apply a gate signal here, it will become on and if you don't apply gate signal, it will remain off. So in this way, SCR also work as a switch. Next we have a DIAC as a switch. So DIAC is a diode AC switch. It is a bi-directional switching device and it can be operated in either direction means it can operate in both the direction regardless of the terminal identification. It does not have anode and cathode. When a voltage is applied across a diode, it either operates in the forward blocking or reverse blocking mode unless the applied voltage is less than the breakdown voltage. But once the breakdown occurs, it will start conducting. So after breakdown, it will work as a on switch. Next we have a trike as a switch. Trike is a triode AC switch. It is a bi-directional switching device which is an equivalent circuit of a two back-to-back -back SCR connection with one gate terminal. Its capability to control AC power in both positive and negative peaks of the voltage waveform often makes this device to be used in motor speed controllers, light dimmers, pressure control systems, 
motor drives and other ac control equipments 